This episode of What About Pod brought to you by the What About Pod app, available on the Amazon App Store and on the Apple Pod Box. Go out and get it today. It's only a buck ninety nine. What's your excuse? I'm here, I'm here. Let the bells ring out and the banners fly. Feast your eyes on me. It's too good to be true, but I'm here. I'm here. Recording live from the WAP studios. Welcome to What About Pod. Oh, please, what is that? Don't tell me. The podcast that turns something into nothing and further goes on about nothing. Don't try and church it up, son. I'm producer and resident doorstop, Jay, along for the ride with your host, Chris Squires. This is too much. I couldn't be more excited. The thought of it makes me cure completely mental, I must say. The mighty double deuce. Welcome to 22. Yeah, 22. I think that's some kind of a cosmic thing I've heard. 22s uh, in numerology is pretty big, I think. Is it good juju, maybe? I think, yes. 22 oh, is supposed to be like complete or something. Oh, Anyways, man. whatever. Yeah. That's also Emmett Smith's number. Yeah, I know. Yeah, like you said. Yeah, but that's kind of a... Whatever. Yeah, we'll get to 32 and then get Walter Payton, and then 34 will be Herschel Walker, and then 20... Okay. Wasn't 21? 34 is Walter Payton. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. 32 is Jim Brown? 30, 32 is Jim Brown, and also Marcus Allen. Duh, yes. 33 is Tony Dorsett. Well, yeah. yeah. It is, I don't want to get too many cowboys. I'm trying to widen our scope here. What was uh, what was Barry Sanders, 21? 20. 20. He was 21 in college. Well, Billy Sims was 20 as well. Billy Sims was 20, but he had injuries, and then right. Barry Sanders came by a couple years well, later. What was Bo Jackson, 28? Bo Jackson was 34. Are you sure? All right. Well, I'll I'm yes. He was 34. You can look at the no, clips. A, I'm and his agree Kansas with City Royals jersey number was 16. Boom! Wow. How do you like that for sports geekdom? And all of the ladies swooned. Pink parts have dried up, and they've moved uh. on to something else. Well, so anyway, <laughs> I have lots of I have lots of Chris here with producer Jay. I think I already said that. If I didn't, then that's who we are. I have like a whole bunch of crap I need to get off my chest this week. Sure. So first things first. I, I don't know, and Jay, I don't know if I told you this. I know I told other people this. I think you were probably one of them. I gave Jack, my dog. Yeah. I bought some dog food on special because, you know, I'm trying to save a buck, I guess. Of course. And I got him, like, it's the premium Alpo, but I guess at the end of the day, it's still Alpo. Alpo's fairly decent, isn't it? Well, it's a brand name, but, I mean, sure. as far as being good for dogs, it's not. And so dog got all sick. And uh -huh. he wasn't feeling good for like two weeks, and the gas, needless to say, was not pleasant at all. So I was going to go back to, he likes pedigree stuff, all right, and some other stuff. And then everyone on Facebook's telling me, now nah, you need to have the blue diamond this, or the I'm's that, or the Rachel Ray makes dog food, and it's supposed to be all natural. So I decided, screw all that, I have begun making my own dog food. Really? Yes. Your own dog food. Yes, it is a combination of skinless, boneless, organic chicken, frozen, right? I just boil it. Organic. Yeah. Oh, it, it, and you can find it. It's relatively, if you look for it on sale, it's relatively cheap. You can get like eight or nine chicken breasts for like six or seven bucks. Okay. And whole grain organic brown rice, which is cheap. You can buy a bag of that for three bucks or two bucks. Um, it's and, just a pain in the ass to cook. Well, at that's least the whole for me. Thing. So yeah, so far that's been the biggest problem is the well, the most time consuming thing. Some barley that goes with that. It's the same, you know, it's basically a rice product. It just has different health benefits. When I hear barley, I think beer. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. And Jack's, Jack's a big fan of that too. Although you know you can't let your dogs drink too much. No, beer. of course not. Dogs uh, shouldn't drink at all. Tell your dogs that people they get abusive and it's just yes. really you know they say know, they start slapping demeaning. things around. Oh, well, they yeah. say demeaning things and they have to apologize in the morning. It's right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I've been doing this and I've noticed that I can make almost the same amount of homemade dog food as I can canned dog food at a cheaper price point. So oh, you went and figured out, yeah, all it, of this. It's like a dollar and a little tiny bit of change to make it myself and the can the big cans I was buying before no matter what brand it is is like a dollar 69 or more so i need to convince myself that the 3 hours it takes me to do all this crap is somehow worth like 4 bucks well that's the trade off <laughs> is yes. the time yes but i think it's completely healthy i got brown rice organic wild rice brown rice whatever you call barley. it some barley which is chicken you know, of course and tons of 
boiled, so it's not grilled. White meat, skinless, boneless chicken breast. I think it's completely oh, you healthy. Go boneless. Oh yeah, they're, they're, huh. they're frozen. You just pl- sure. you yeah. pick them out of the bag, you plop them in the water, you let them cook for like eight to ten minutes. Done. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna start canning it, and I'm gonna have we're gonna have what about pod dog food? <laughs> what about dog food? <laughs> <laughs> or or maybe not. I just thought yeah. it was industrious of me. That's to catchy. Start making my own dog food. Yeah, I'm not going to can it or and or bottle it, but I was pretty proud of myself to figure out that it's actually cheaper to make your own if you take into no account your time, right? Because your time should be worth something. But. Yes. Well, three hours worth. That's, that's dedication to your dog. I actually salute you. Yeah, and he's not, well, and there's no more. Oh, Jack's a good boy, too. No he's more a good dog. disgusting. Yeah, that's the payoff. So yeah. if I just get no more of that, it's going to pay off in space. So from good news or maybe interesting dog food news or maybe totally not interesting dog food news to very disconcerting, very sad news. I found out. What do this, we got? Well, I found out this week that the the classification of an oldie, right? Remember, you remember? Well, I don't, I, I don't think I've listened to the quote unquote oldies. Well, station. I think of oldies. I think of fifties music, early sixties, right? Like, yeah, Buddy I, Holly. I hate to say it, but yeah, Buddy Holly, Elvis Presley, some of the greats, right? They're oldies. Well, let's uh, face it. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And and to me, that's what I. If you say, "Oh, I'm listening to oldies," I would think 50s, 60s music, Buddy Holly, Big Bopper, and even some of like the Motown groups, like Platters, and that kind of is all oldies to me. Maybe it, you know some of that for sure. But some of the Motown stuff gets a little further away from that. But I the, like the Motown stuff. No, yeah, I love it. I'm just saying that I would quite define it in my head as oldies and not just Motown. But, but it follows. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. It's all of, of the rough same time frame. But come to find out that oldies are classified as being 30 years or older. Okay. Which means all the songs that I listened to growing up, including Michael Jackson's Thriller album. Whoa. Yes. Is Eat all it. oldies. Eat it. <laughs> so, Beat It is an oldie. Billy Jean is an oldie. Thriller is an oldie. This entire album is now considered an oldie. Actually, that kind of makes me sad because yeah. I'm thinking of uh, Weird Al Yankovic doing a parody of this. Right. Eat and it. now it's an oldie. I don't. When did he release that? Around the same time. Couple months after this came out, I don't know. Yeah, I don't. He got him turned around pretty quick, but yeah. Well, I, I mean, regardless, it was within a year. So I still love the piano T-shirt. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, it, it works for me. It really yeah, does. Yeah, there. Well, and then the the uh, members only jacket with all the unnecessary zippers and like the oh, chain yeah. mail. On yeah, with the, the, and the shoulder thing. Yeah, that throws like chain mail on it in different spots. Oh yeah, because an elf is gonna try and shoot him with an arrow or something. Well, yeah. Really? Members only made that? Oh, I don't know. It just right, well, well, has the straps I, I don't, and the buckle. Yeah, and the, I mean, I know the jackets you're talking about, but members only did something completely different. Well, I'm just talking about the, the unnecessary shoulder button-up strap thing. Yeah, here there we go. go. Yeah, so it's it's chainmail, shoulders, and... Come on, we had to. Yeah, because like I said, elves are trying to shoot him with arrows and stuff in this right. beaded street fight. Yeah. Which, which they it's the Jets versus the Sharks. It's a, like a absolutely, hockey game. Absolutely, it's it's uh, they strap each other together and then dance around with knives. It's really quite in, profound, enthralling. Yeah, and seventeen zippers that go to probably zero pockets. Yep. Where's his glove? Uh, yeah. What, was this, this pre, pre, was this pre glove? This Michael is Jackson? right, like right okay, at the cuff. This is the problem I have with this video right here. No pockets on the pool tables. Yes. Look at that. No pockets. <laughs> well, how are you gonna dance around a? Yeah. I mean, come on, right? Yes. I don't know. Maybe I... I it's a very... It's a... Uh, I think there are games it's that a, have no pockets. It's a, but it's, when I shoot pool, I like to have pockets. It's a uh, snooker table for very patient people. Yeah, it's... Ding. That game is an exercise. <laughs> Just get it really close to the pocket. Patience and uh, persistence. Yeah, yeah I remember uh, losing a lot of money on a snooker table because the guy I was playing against was very, very good, obviously. Well, yeah, if you play snooker, you got to be fairly Well, decent. we were playing, and this is, I was very young. I think I was probably 18. Lost like 20, 25 bucks playing this guy rack for rack nine ball on a snooker table. I didn't know any different. I didn't realize the pockets were like an inch and a half skinnier than yep. a regulation pool table. And then I, I started looking at the end, and this is after he already took my 25 bucks. Yeah, snooker table has really skinny pockets. Yeah, yeah, just a little bit. 
Morty. All right. Well, I'm just depressed because now all the songs I grew up with, whether I liked them or not, are all pretty much considered oldies from the time I was like 12 years old all the way back to the uh, inception of me. Just for men, hair coloring is just around the corner for you, bud. No, I, no it's... You're not going to do that? It's here and now. Oh, well, no. I, but, well, we talked about this like way back in the first couple episodes. Yeah. I, I, my goatee If I only done. remembered, but I'm too old, I'm going senile. Oh, yeah. I, I think my quote was, my goatee's gone from distinguished to disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> from the no, from the yeah. Yeah, amount of gray. In yeah. It. But I, I can't go like full on bizarro Superman dark. I got to like, I got to find a way to shade it. <laughs> <laughs> like uh like uh, shades of gray st- you know like steve martin's nose in that roxanne movie you gotta put some shading on it it'll, it'll take away the, <laughs> the <length. laughs> I remember that when you had the Cyrano de bergerac but it was oh, like, yeah yeah roxanne or whatever yep good times wow daryl hannah steve martin yes uh-huh. i i still remember the 20 jokes about big noses when the guy hits the bolt or hits the 20 with the dart yeah wow what? I think we've jumped the tracks, and we're only a few minutes in again. I wouldn't say we've jumped the tracks, but I think we are showing our age. Yes. So uh, let's get some Geritol and some Metamucil. And prune juice. Well, prune juice shooters at the end of the show, because if we do them now, by the time we get done with news, we'll have to take a break. Can we take a break right now and <laughs> bitch about the weather for a little bit? Yeah. My knee's acting up. My knee! Yeah. Uh. Well, it's about to rain. My head's swelling <laughs> my up. My knee. Oh, my diverticulitis <laughs> is kicking in again. Oh, dear Lord. Well, why don't we just cut to the chase and get to some news? <laughs> From the news studios, it's the What About Pod News. Starring Producer J. With commentary. From the man himself. Smartest man in the universe. So I want to say before you start any of this. That that news intro is like my one of my favorite things. Now. Yes, I like it too. It's and, simple. Well, right, and I don't think anybody gets it. But all it was born from is the fact that neither of us had the news intro, so we figured, okay, we'll just do this little goofy news intro, and then Jay can cut it out and put in the real news intro when he when he does the editing, and it never got cut out, and it's like one of my favorite things. And the other thing too. Uh, why add three or four different elements to it and make this whole big hullabaloo about something that's going to take 10 to 15 seconds to do when you just go with something simple? It's beautiful. 15 seconds, I love give it. it a little underlying bed of a teletype uh, going off, and there you go. This is producing with Producer Jay. That's right. So let's get to some news. What's, what's up first? For all you Monopoly fans out there, I'm not sure if you've heard this or not, but they are phasing out some pieces, specifically one, and replacing it with another yeah. And I will give you a hint. This is Chris's favorite animal. Yes. Actually, it was our guest co-host last week. It's his favorite animal. That's right. Because they suck. <laughs> Unless they <laughs> freaking suck. Unless you happen to like them. And then in which case... Well, because there's some great people, too, that own cats and like country Cats music. are all right. Yes. So the newest Monopoly token is the cat. It's a silver cat with a collar and an M. Right. Dangling off said For collar. Monopoly. I'm gonna guess. Now, the trade-off is they phased off another piece, which was the iron. Right. Yeah. And we talked about this earlier. I have my I have my theory about Monopoly trying to take the leap into the 20th century. And I know it's the 21st century. That's fine. That's oh, why, for sure. That's why it's funny. One thing at a time. That's why it's funny. It, it's, oh. it's queen to make it funny. <laughs> uh, you know, he doesn't get it. He doesn't get it. All right, so I have this big theory that Monopoly is trying to become less misogynistic as time goes on, right? I can believe that. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can name them all. Aren't there six? Are there six of these? I don't know. Where There's gonna... eight. Oh, holy crap. Yes. Yeah, I think it's because my me or my sister probably ate two of them the second we opened the box, and then a bunch of them got vacuumed up or whatever. All right, so I'm going to test myself and say I know there's a car because that's what everyone fights over. Everyone wants some... Yeah. Everyone oh, I've ever played wants to be a car. Right. There is a battleship. I go with the battleship if the car is Right. And usually I get like the fourth the choice. Taken, the battleship is mine. Anytime I ever played a big game of Monopoly with a lot of people, we've always rolled to see who picks the freaking pieces. So if you get the one, you get to pick first, and it goes on and on and on. So anyway, so it's kind of a big deal when you're a kid as to which piece you want. Yes. So, because it reflects, I think, a little bit of your personality. Well, or, or your it could. Monopoly. But now, 
Because <laughs> it's not. That's pretty the monopinality. Yeah, mono, nice. monopina. Um, monopina. <laughs> so there's the car. There's monomina. the battleship. There's the dog, which is Scotty. Yep. Remember that? Good call. Yeah. Uh, there's the boot. There is what well, was the iron. I'm going to say there is the iron. There is the thimble. Yeah. Which is the one no one wants to be. Uh, I don't mind the thimble. Wasn't there? There was a horse, too, wasn't there? There was a horse that got phased out. Oh. Well, what happened? What replaced the horse? I don't know. I'll put anybody on the spot. Well, there used to be ten pieces. And Holy there crap. were pieces like a lantern. That was way a, before my time. A purse. Yeah. Yeah. A purse. Right. And a uh, rocking horse. Right. And then, yeah. all right, so there's the cat. Right, or the, well, what's called the iron. the iron, of course. Well, there was the wheelbarrow, I remember, right? Yep. It was a little wheelbarrow, and it would never stay upright. And the hat. Ah, the hat. I always liked the hat because it was stable. Yeah. You just put it out there. Kind Let's say with a boot. Kind of a snazzy hat, too. Yeah, top hat. Totally. So, I always thought that, like, misogynistic monopoly from back in the 50s, the guys got the race car and the horse and the, and the battleship and the manly thing, and then it was... All right, the, the dames can pick from the thimble, the iron. <laughs> How did that go? Yeah, the dames. The dames? Yeah, the dames. Yeah, yeah. yeah see? Yeah. Pick, pick yourself Don't a thimble. Don't ever get away with that, see? Yeah. <laughs> pick yourself a thimble and beat it, eh? Hit the rug, Tuts. Yeah, exactly. So, it is doing away with the iron a leap to... Because the iron's a very solid piece. It's got a flat bottom. You put it there and it doesn't tip over. Agreed. So, why get rid of the iron? And if it's not... A way to make the game less misogynistic. That's my question to you, producer Jay. What do you think? <laughs> is it misogynistic? Was it misogynistic? Is the cat an attempt I th- to become less misogynistic as a game? I don't think so. I think it's just a sign of the times. Well, like what? People like cats? Well, no. No, because the iron's kind of outdated and with 21st century technology. You don't iron your clothes? Well, you can iron your clothes, but a lot of people, including myself, just would not rather deal with that. Just go to the dry cleaners, have them do it. Right. Well, and yeah. that and I think, like, corporate culture has changed, right? Because I, without giving away where either of us work, just for the sake of wanting to keep jobs while we do this stupid podcast, I would say we both work. If we worked where we worked 20 years ago, we would both be going to work every day in a suit. True or false? 20 years ago? All right. Th- 25. Mm, I'd have to say maybe 30 to 40 years ago. Uh, well, somewhere, all right, somewhere in that, all right, 20 years ago would be like a... 1993, you have to remember that. No, I, and I'm taking that into account. Dress-ish pants and a button-up shirt. 20, sure. 20 years ago. Depends on what you're doing. Well, right, but I'm just saying at, considering the industry that you work in, right? Mm-hmm. So if you work in a library, you wear what a librarian would wear. And that... Definitely has changed over the years. Yes. Um, but I can work where I work, and I can go in in shorts if I want. I can go in wearing uh, shorts and a polo shirt if I want. You can go in wearing horned rimmed glasses uh, with wearing a short dress with tattoos all over. Yes. Where that's pe- where that's on every other... Movie. That's what every other Tuesday is for. It's that's where you go. Tats and skirt day at work. Absolutely. Free pizza in the lounge. That thong, 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 thong. Mm. Now, that's not every Tuesday. I go commando on Tuesdays. Mm. <laughs> Good call with in this heat, it just chafes. Well, right, exactly. Just yeah. get a little gold bond medicated powder. Yeah. <laughs> but when you're not, when you're going commando, you don't even need to. Well, you should. Yeah. If you're wearing a thong, then you would use gold bond. Well, no, then you just like lube it up. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> For the two right. people listening, sorry. Back, that on, was a, back on track. That's a horrible image. Oh, wow. So, you yeah. I don't really right. want to picture that with us people. So, I'm going to say Monopoly is misogynistic. And you can say whatever you want to say, and let's move on to the next story. You got it. From cats to deep fried corn soup. Yes. Yeah. I love this. Yeah, the KFC in Japan. I, I'm guessing there's multiple KFCs in Japan. I hope so. Well, they're taking a cue from the county fairs and their own creative yeah deep frying everything. Yeah. I mean, see the last episode with the Pepsi flavored. Uh, the, chips. Was that that was Japan as well, right? That was Japan. Yeah. Yes, that was Japan. So I'm trying to redeem Japan with with picking something that I would actually think would be delicious. This would be delicious right oh, yeah. here. I mean, what they're using is it's corn potage, right? Right. That's how you pronounce it, corn potage. Which 
more or less doubles as soup. Right. And don't even ask me how they begin to do this. But apparently this is really taken off, and I gotta say, I'm looking at this picture, because it looks like a McNugget with corn and potatoes in it. Yeah. And it looks like super tasty. This is taken off. This is extremely popular in Japan. Corn soup, more or less. You can find it anywhere from the hoity-toity upscale restaurants to, like, Circle K-type convenience stores. I mean, it's just everywhere. It's just, it's tasty. It's it, this, this this hybrid of... of right. I don't know uh, how you... Of, I guess you have to freeze corn, it. Corn, potato, deep-fried goodness. I guess you have to freeze it, probably, right? And then bread it and then fry it? I'm guessing. I don't know how they... Obviously, you can't make soup into a ball. <laughs> okay, if well, you can, that's you know what? Not I'm, I'm going to get a PA Rogers on this. Hey, PA Rogers. Oh, I'm glad you called. <laughs> hey, well, I'm glad you're uh, right here. Can you look up how deep fried corn soup is made? Well, certainly. <laughs> okay, cool. And take your time. You know, but be a little quick. But you can take your time. Be quick, but take right your time. Right away. <laughs> Thank you. That's like that's but like the, uh, that's the JR of. Of this week. Potage. Yeah. Aha, it's potage. 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 <laughs> potage is how. Yes, not okay. potage. It's potage. All right. Sorry, we're not, okay. we're not right. as refined. Uh, PA, as... Uh, okay, well, P.A. Rogers is back. Uh, P.A. Rogers, how did it go? I remember one time some of our neighbors who were studying ballet dancing. Yeah, I'm not really uh, interested in that. Do you have anything? Oh, yes. Okay, well, hey, thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Rogers, that'll, uh, that's all I need you for today, man. We'll, uh, we'll see you later. See you then. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Can him. You need to fire that guy. That guy's old. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a little slow. We'll probably get sued, okay. but I think all right. Well, Can here's him. what PA Rogers gave me. So, the way you deep fry soup is you take a glob of corn. Potage. It's covered in batter, and then it's just simply thrown into the deep fryer. Yeah. And P.A. Rogers was not diligent enough to get the times as to how long you leave that in there. Although my guess would probably be no longer than a minute. Yeah, it looks like a chicken nugget with, yeah. like, it looks like a mashed potato and corn chicken nugget all put into the same thing. Right. It looks and, delicious. I mean, I love chicken McNuggets. I mean. Yeah. Except, it, yeah, I know. Did you ever see Super Size? I did. I've, oh. seen, I've seen the process, and it doesn't put me off. I'm not one of those Wow, people. really? Yes, really. I, I have not had a McDonald's chicken nugget since I saw Super Size. Really? I've eaten McDonald's uh, uh, very rarely. I don't eat a lot of fast food really at all. You wouldn't know by looking at me, but I don't eat a lot no, of not at all. fast no. food. You're about the buffest person I know. Well, no, I'm saying for my rotund appearance, I don't eat a lot of fast food, which means I eat a lot of just like double good food. <laughs> but yeah, I couldn't eat another. After the paste and how old the chickens are and it's like ugh. Are they like senior citizen chickens? I think if you YouTube and you searched well, maybe I need super size me chicken nuggets, it'll show you all there is to show you about chicken nuggets and it's it's hard to watch. Okay. Well, I have a strong stomach. So we'll Yeah, see. exactly. It, yeah. Okay. So what's next? In this great country of ours, you ever wonder which states watch the most porn? You know what? I would be willing to bet you the states that watch the least porn listen to the most What About Pod. <laughs> That's probably true. Actually, I think it's almost completely false. <laughs> well, maybe they're listening to the podcast while they're... Hey. That's right, ladies. Welcome to the What About. <laughs> it's time for Smooth. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, so <laughs> so I, I assume we have a news story about how much porn is being watched in this great country of ours. On average, people in the United States spend about 11 minutes to visit this website called Pornhub. 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 I've never heard of that. Yeah, no. Have you heard of that, Chris? Yeah, I didn't even know that there was such vile filth on the Internet. Makes me angry to know ah, that the exploitation of I, people... Absolute filth. Yes. Disgusting. That's not right. We do not condone that here on the podcast. Anyone we who watches not. porn yeah. is a zealot. No. Not Stop that. making that jack sauce. <laughs> so the people at Pornhub, of course, neither of us knowing what that is, put together... We never serve porn. No. Put together a viewership or a timer or how did they do this? They timed Pornhub.com visits, and 
on average came out to just shy of 11 minutes. The shortest was 10 minutes, and that belonged to the smallest state in the nation, Rhode Island. Wow. 10 minutes now. Yeah. That's actually a lot of time, if you think about it. Well, 10 minutes? I'm going to say, if I had to imagine what someone who watches porn, I wouldn't guess that you were just sitting there and say, well, I guess I'll just go look at some porn and do some window shopping. It's not like Amazon.com. By the way, if you go to whataboutpod.com and click on the Amazon banner, you can kick us back a little bit of money for buying Wait, Way to insert that Amazon. Uh, while we're <coughs> doing a story on porn. Yeah. So I can get lost on Amazon.com, YouTube, you name it. I could spend an hour just doing nothing. Mm-hmm. But just like clicking on things and looking at other things and looking at other things. But I would guess if you were a person who would watch porn. Not that we do. If, yeah. Because Philistine as you would be. What about pod does not condone pornography? No. Not at all. What does condone mean again? Anyway. So. I no. <laughs> so, so I would guess that. I would guess you wouldn't just say, ah, I guess I'll sit here and look at porn for an hour. You would have to be, hmm, I'm bored. Let's look at porn. And then porn would be something you would watch for 10 minutes, and then you would no longer need to watch porn. That's just a for total guess. a couple hours. Bro, or whatever it is. But this is average visit, average time spent per visit. Yes. Right. Incidentally, the state that had the longest check-in at 12 minutes was the state with the longest name, Mississippi. Aha. Yes. So the smallest state had the shortest time, and the longest state had the long the longest. The, the smallest state. state had the shortest time, while the longest spelled state had the longest time. Yeah, and, and so we'll, there's a correlation. We'll post yeah. this definitely on the site so oh, yeah. you can take a look. But what's weird to me is look at Hawaii, black. Yeah, which means which that's means 11 minutes and 40 seconds. That's checking to, in around 12 minutes. Right, that's yeah. right at the same time. How on God's green earth, if you're in Hawaii, do you have time? Why? I mean, I would be, there's a million things in Hawaii that I would do. Yeah. Yeah, I would surfing. think that would be less. Doing it on the beach, I don't know. Any, any, well, right? any number. Take a picture, look at the ocean. I mean, I guess it would be almost the same as a desert after a while, right? Oh, hey, look, there's an ocean. Or, or <laughs> visiting Vegas. Wow, there's a city other than the... Other than the strip? Yeah, but porn's pretty high in Nevada, too. That it is. Where, interestingly, Nevada has this uh, a bit of an anomaly. It's not like the other uh, states in the nation. Separated by uh, demographics, which we'll get into later, but this is the only state in the nation whose top three searches included Anita Queen. And, uh, yeah, we, it's too bad you dismissed uh, P.A. Rogers. I'm going to have to Google who Anita Queen is. I'm going to guess it's a drag queen. Okay, I, I can still go get. Best, I can I, go get Mr. Rogers. I'm already on it, dude. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. Yeah, then. why pay him when we don't have to? All right. Anita Queen, Queen my dishes, please. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't get it. All right, images for Anita Queen. She. She's a porn star. How about that? That actually, no. This looks. She looks like a car sales person. Like and, a limo driver. Yeah, she works at Mercedes Benz but, of Dothan, Alabama. Wow. So Anita All Queen right, works at Mercedes Benz of Dothan. <laughs> the thing that I take for this, that Missouri is the only state whose top three searches on Pornhub.com included the word lesbian. Does that mean there's a high lesbian population in Missouri or just the exact opposite that there's not? And that's why it's being searched so much. I don't know, but I keep seeing this term come up a lot. MILF. Oh, well, yeah. What does uh, that mean? I think it's... Is, that, is it like milk? I think it's... Yeah, I think it's milk from an organic cow. Milk from an... Uh, well, it has to be. <laughs> I mean, it couldn't be anything well, else, The funny right? thing is... Well, no, but the funny thing about all of these is, like, every region, all, well, almost all the regions, have compilation as one of their search terms. You know, Except for the Midwest, interestingly enough. Yeah, they like uh, they like teens. <laughs> <laughs> Those dirty bastards. Yeah. So... Yeah, but the compilation, I would assume, because I've never watched any porn before. Compilation, I would assume, is a compilation of many different movies into yeah, one. Yeah, movies put together, right. Right, so it's like yeah. this scene, this scene. So it's like the sports center of porn. Yeah. What, <laughs> may, does it have like a bottom line? It the could. porn center. <laughs> porn center. Welcome to da, Porn da, Center. Da, 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 uh. 
Oh my god. <laughs> that was good. So yeah, so the filthy Philistines that watch porn. We'll make sure and post You're gonna this. You're going to turn into blocks of salt. Exactly. Lot's wife. Yeah, we'll make sure and post this Huff Post weird news article. Totally. Where's Arizona fall in? What uh, what what happened? Uh, somewhere in the ten minute to eleven minute, oh, right in the middle. Arizona fans are a big fan of the cream pie. <laughs> All right, I'm guessing that's not a moon pie. No, that but the funny be, thing is, that we're, might be something different. We're considered well, but we're very diverse because all these others have you know ties for first and second, first, second, and third. Arizona has five things tied for third place as far as Arizona what apparently likes. It's a variety. Diversity, yeah. Yeah, but at that we're lumped in the Southwest, quote unquote, which is Oklahoma, Texas, New Mexico, and Arizona. Well, I noticed the rest of the West, they're not real big fans of the organic cow, the MILF. Yeah, no, right? it's all the compilation. See? Compilation, 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 yeah. compilation. Well, no, not the Southeast. Yeah. Where, where are they like the MILF? There must be a lot of cows down there. Yeah, or goat. Yeah. Is this the goat? Uh, lesbian goat MILFs, porn. lesbian cows, I guess. Yes. Yeah. That's uh, next female week cows liking female cows. Next week, we might have to talk about the Air Sex World Championships. They have an Air Sex World Championship. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Is it, that Willie Robertson from Duck Dynasty? It's pretty... Uh, Holy cow. That it, looks a lot like it. it looks, yeah. It looks like <laughs> a lot of people having air sex rather than... <laughs> Alrighty then. Rather than air guitar. Uh, yeah, so yeah. we might cover yeah, call, that live. Going for an 80s look there with the neon headband. I think we need to figure stuff. out exactly where this is being held and when. And My guess would be Vegas. It could be. And because maybe that's something is. we need to cover next year. Well, you know, I know you have another news story, but I think we're going to wrap up news and we're going to give your news story the glamour that it deserves. Oh, right. And we that's all the news I have and I'm sticking to it. Yeah. So I know you had another news story. You showed it to me in prep, so I thought we'd get a special intro together just for your news really? story. Really? What is it? <laughs> it's time for producer Jay's <laughs> story. Of the week. <laughs> <laughs> so just for you, buddy, we have got your oh, yeah, that's cat e that's evil story of the week. Hey, you you figured out the echo. Well, yeah, and oh, the pitch nice. and the rest of that. Yeah, good stuff. call. Good yeah. call. So you sound, you sound devilish. I, and I think this is our third or fourth week in a row with a cat story in the news. So let's just pull it straight out of the news and give it its own segment because it bears mentioning what is producer jay's cat story of the week well there's a missing black cat by the name of Django who was apparently left unchained oh <laughs> yeah but, um, bop. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for the cat story of the week let's yeah. move on to the no as you were so well, uh, black Django, cat named Django. Django got unchained because i mean the d is silent was swiped by a drunk person in chino uh, how much more racist can you get? I guess the kidnapper's experiencing a little bit of uh, kidnapper's remorse and uh, wants to return the cat. Uh-oh. Yeah, uh-oh. So, right. so guy stole the cat? Yeah, some guy stole the cat. He was drunk. I'm not sure why or how exactly, although my guess is he saw the cat, felt he had a connection with the cat, took it home, fed it, stuff. <laughs> Whatever you feed cats. This is enthralling stuff. Long story short, this guy posted an ad on Craigslist looking to return the cat. So, if you have a black cat by the name of Django who is unchained, this guy has your cat. I have to scrutinize this a little bit because... Sure. First off, who has a black cat and names it Django? That's got to be like the most racist thing we've discussed know. today. It's even more racist than Monopoly is misogynistic. Mm. Damn you. Damn. Damn dirty ape. Um... <laughs> Wow, that's we went through kinda, all this exactly to get to the, the to, to name the cat Django. Yeah, so I wonder if that's true. He's a then, cute cat, though. Well, like anything that's commentary, I think it's bullshit, but it could be true. And if it is, it's nice that the guy's repentant and wants to get the cat back to its yeah. rightful owners. I think he's looking to make it right. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it could be a gag, although I'm... it's good. Hell, we're talking about it on a podcast. Yeah. I mean, you did. Well, if it's a gag, then uh, apparently the Huffington Post got gagged on it too. So yeah, there you I go. love it when she gags on. That's right. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> you, that was my. You just did that. <laughs> yeah. Well, so that is the end of the. That's your cat story, producer Jake. Cat story of the week. Ta da.
So the something I meant to mention at the top of the show, and it's it's something that has like plagued me all week. What's that? Work wise, and in one case, a, a personal story wise. So I've had situations at work where I'm trying to get stuff done, and I've had personal situations where I'm trying to get stuff done all in the same week. Nothing major. I mean, it's not life crushing stuff, but people feel the need to express concern. It always starts out with, I'm, I'm just concerned for you. I want to make sure that you know what you're doing or that you are supported in what you're doing. Or, I think I see where this is going. And I say, every opportunity that I've had this past week, I said, well, thank you. I appreciate your concern. So what did you, what did you learn? Um, obviously, I'm in a position where you have been and you're expressing concern about it. Oh, well, no, just lessons learned. I've just been where you are. And I'm really concerned about it. All right, well, shut the F up. I get it. But if you can't, if you're going to criticize and you're going to say, oh, oh, be careful. Oh, oh, be careful. I've been there before. Have some freaking advice that goes with that. Say, don't do it this way. Maybe think about doing it this way. Provide some input that isn't just concern. That's uh, four times this week. I'm I'm just really concerned. It's yeah. time for producer Jay's karaoke I blast. I suppose I deserve karaoke this one. blast. Karaoke blast. Yeah, you were going down a slippery slope. I was. Man. Yeah, you're, I was starting into you're, rage. You're, I was getting into rage a hall. Your uh, the vein on your forehead was <laughs> starting to hit the microphone, and we just had to put a stop to it. <laughs> yeah, sorry, man. My actually, sorry, I'm not sorry. Are flaring. Yes, yeah, yes, they are. Absolutely. All right. Well, I suppose I deserve whatever I get then. So, what do we have? It's been a long time. What do we have for a for a karaoke blast? Well, I had to rehash uh, one of my <laughs> one of my guilty pleasures. I like this song. Not a, a lot of people like this song. This came out in 2004 and uh, oh. super cheesy, and you'll know it by the opening riff. Still one of my favorite songs, but it's pretty freaking hilarious. Oh wow! <laughs> Want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? <laughs> Don't explain all the feelings that you're making me feel. <laughs> My heart's in overdrive and you're behind the steering wheel. <laughs> oh, this is gonna hurt. Touching you. <laughs> Touching me. <laughs> Touching you. God, you're touching me. Oh my god. <laughs> I believe that it thinks I love you. Just leave the feelings right above my mind. Just dance with the make it now. We'll be rough again as the goes down. I believe that it thinks I love you. Woo-hoo. It is a manure farm. <laughs> And that's about that's about all I really care to do. That was fantastic. Thank you. Uh, I like that song too. I I don't know why no people. I don't know, that song sucks. Yeah, it's too pretty. Well, they see the video and it puts them off. Yeah, it You've is. Got to put that in the collage. It's a very ambiguous. Oh, it, which is incidentally just to tag it. It is the darkness. Yes. I believe in a thing called love. For yes. those of you that might. That whole know. album is actually really listenable. It is really good. Yeah. yeah. It agreed. I wish Get I could your disagree hands with you. Off my woman, motherfucker. <laughs> That's probably my second favorite on there. Oh, That's, I believe in a thing called love is obviously. The well, first. yeah, it's like that's well, that's yeah. their calling card oh, for yeah. Wow. So let's. I think we need to start closing up shop here. Jay, do you have this week in vocal pauses ready for us? You betcha. <laughs> You know, 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 area 15. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. On the, on the, yeah, well, but I mean, that's, uh, uh, cats are like country music. They both fucking suck. You know what? A lot of great people on both of them. Oh, that's an outstanding. I thought, I thought so. Oh, we'll have to have chair back just so we can get more vocal pauses. That was oh yes, good times. Yes, excellent Let, times. Excellent let's, times. Let's button it up and get out of here. Yes. Oh, 
All right, that was an epic end to the show between the karaoke blast and the vocal pause. Solid. Uh, I think we're going to get on with the rest of our week until episode 23. For producer Jay, it's Chris. Take care of each other. Bye-bye. You've been listening to What About Pod, a part of the Mixed Media Network. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at What About Pod. We're also on iTunes and Stitcher. Download the Stitcher app today on Android or Apple platforms. This show brought to you by Prince William's receding hairline and the Velcro fly. Until next time, jar goggle. <laughs> <laughs>